The company's expertise in specialized shipbuilding became the decisive factor for concluding a contract with the Argentinian government. Since 1978, the yard has been engaged in the design and construction of the TR-1700 prototype for the Republic of Argentina. The TR-1700 submarine is characterized by great diving depth, an extensive operating range at economic speeds, its worldwide employment potential, and excellent maneuverability. Because of its high top speed, the TR-1700 submarine is capable of pursuing even fast-moving targets. This enables the ship to catch up with an enemy even from disadvantageous starting positions. The TR-1700 carries highly sophisticated equipment. Its components are supplied by the leading manufacturers of the Western world and meet the most exacting requirements of modern naval warfare. To ease the extraordinary strain of long missions, a high degree of living comfort is provided for the crew. The officers' cabins, the cabins for the chief petty officers, the crew's accommodations, the messes, the galley, and the sanitary facilities offer extraordinary comfort in a confined space. The submarine forms the basis for a sophisticated weapon system. sensitive sensors, the fire control system, and the wire-guided torpedoes. The surface sensors consist of periscopes, radar system, and ESM system. The data from these devices used only while the submarine is surfaced or submerged at periscope depth are gathered in the combat information center. With these surface sensors it is possible to detect, locate and recognize surface ships, aircraft and helicopters. Still more important are the underwater sensors, the sonar systems. The sonar system operates both in the active and passive modes. In the passive mode, it can receive noises emitted by surface ships or submarines and thus locate these vessels even at great distances. Sound waves emitted in the active mode can, by means of reflection, detect objects that do not produce any noise of their own. All target data are fed into the fire control computer which evaluates the target bearings by means of a sophisticated digital computing system and freely programmable processors and transmits the target data to the weapons. The fire control system is capable of tracking and engaging several targets simultaneously with a very high hit probability. The torpedoes are housed ready to be fired in six torpedo tubes. The torpedo tubes are designed according to the swim-out principle, which means that the torpedoes leave the tubes self-propelled. The fighting power of the submarine is considerably increased by the reserve torpedoes housed in the torpedo store. A hydraulic mechanical system enables a rapid reloading of the tubes. The TR-1700 
DR-1700 has a rescue system which allows to save the lives of a trapped submarine crew in a great number of conceivable emergencies. A pressure-proof bulkhead divides the submarine into two compartments, each allowing the crew to survive for up to seven days until they can be picked up by a rescue submarine such as the DSRV of the US Navy. In depths of up to 150 meters, the crew can leave the submarine and small groups through the diver's lock. At depths of up to about 100 meters, the compartments can be flooded. Once pressure equalization has been attained, the crew members leave the boat in quick succession and climb aboard the life rafts released from the submarine before. Another safety feature is the hydrazine system. In case of a danger situation, such as the jamming of the hydroplanes, the submarine can be surfaced by blowing the ballast tanks instantaneously.